Far too many of us think growing means learning more or doing new things, as opposed to staying in a hard place. God's intended way out of a trial is through it. And bypass means you develop less. And COVID was probably the most noticeable cultural shift we had when it came to options. You keep the same New York salary and live in Kansas if you want to. Well, that happened. Everybody thought to themselves during the pandemic, do I enjoy where I am and what I do? Everybody had that thought go through their head. I, I don't know anybody that didn't think about moving, praise God. They thought about it. And from there, we saw what they called the great resignation, where people left jobs. Even in the midst of that, from a spiritual standpoint, we, we saw what we call deconstruction, where people started to leaving churches and denominations because everybody started thinking, does this fit for me anymore? And I want to say with a great statement in that, that's a good thing. It was good that we evaluated where we were. It was good we had options to do something new. Here's what I want to preach to you today about and really to speak even more to our generation. In that moment when people started leaving, People started writing blogs, they started making videos, they started telling their friends, and everyone celebrated leaving. Options became a gold medal. You left? Yes, good for you. And I think we should celebrate leaving. I think the problem is we don't celebrate staying. We don't give people gold medals for enduring. And learning the hard side and the hard truths of staying in a tough situation. And that's my only thing I wanna to preach to you today. I wanna to increase your value of endurance. I want you to see what James says about endurance and how it can help you, amen? James 1 and 4 goes on to say, well, you know the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, endurance, patience, right? And then he says, let steadfastness have its full effect. Say that with me, full effect. Full effect. Notice that when he says let steadfastness have its full effect, feel the optional nature of that. See what James is saying in that you may miss out on what endurance is intended to do in your life or the full effect. What James is saying is that God is going to use tests and trials to fully develop you, but you have the option of removing yourself from the trial. In addition to that, as you remove yourself from trial and not endure, you are also leaving yourself underdeveloped. Here, therefore, means that trials are God's intention of fully developing you, amen? And if you leave, you'll have unfinished work. If, if you remove yourself from certain trials, you will not complete the assignment God has for you. You'll cancel your calling. And so in many ways, he says, let God do the work he intended to do on you be fully developed. Our generation, we are subtly raising a generation that values different things. We don't understand calling, but we understand consumerism. We don't understand what it truly be, means to be edified and built up. We understand what it means to be entertained. 
We don't understand what it means to be on a mission. We presumably think everything is a menu that I can choose in, opt in and opt out of. Saints, this is what James is trying to say to us, is that some of us have been put in hard situations and we left and we left underdeveloped and we left work incomplete. There were apologies that you were supposed to say. There were conversations that you were intended to have. There were people that God had assigned you to pray for. But when it got hard, you left. Or when it got hard, you stopped ministering. You stopped loving. You stopped caring. You stopped giving. You no longer used your gifts. You no longer remained loving. And so even though you were there, you checked out. And what we see here is God uses hard situations to bring out the things he has placed in you. He is not always calling you to comfort. A totally comfortable life will leave you underdeveloped. Now, why do we always choose another option? I can tell you the number one reason why. Far too many of us think growing means learning more or doing new things as opposed to staying in a hard place. God's intended way out of a trial is through it. And bypass means you develop less. There are situations God has placed you in and you left unfinished. That means you left underdeveloped and not fully changed how God wanted to change you. Can you imagine the story of Joseph? Joseph, y'all know he was kidnapped? Kidnapped by his own brothers. This great dreamer. Joseph the Bible says, was thrown into jail because of a false accusation while he was doing good. Joseph ministered in jail and the person he was ministering to got an opportunity and forgot about him when he got up into the big room with the big people. And the Bible says that the Lord was continually with Joseph. Joseph ministered after being kidnapped. He ministered in jail. He ministered after accusations. He kept himself about the work of the Lord, even though I'm sure he at times felt abandoned by the Lord. And it is because Joseph continued to love and give and serve, God exalted him. But God not only exalted him into a new position with Pharaoh, being essentially his second in command, God also matured him to have a fully developed understanding of what God was doing. Look what Joseph says. When Joseph ends up meeting his brothers by whom had kidnapped him and started this whole problem, Joseph says to, says to them, as for you, you meant it for evil against me, but God meant it for good, to bring it about that many people should be kept alive as they are today. Joseph, because he had remained a minister of the gospel, a minister of God's love, a minister to people, by the time he got to the place where he had power, what exuded from him was grace and love and beauty and truth, not bitterness and meanness and callousness. Y'all kidnapped me, you remember that? Well, I'm the big dog now, y'all see that, right? Second in command, baby. No, he didn't say that. No, 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 no. Because the power didn't define him, God's love did. Because he loved when it was hard. He cared when it was hard. And when things got hard, he didn't become hard. He became soft. He became gentle. 
The things you go through aren't supposed to make you hard. They're supposed to break you and make you loving. You know, sometimes people go into who's been through more wars. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have no daddy. My daddy, my daddy, yeah, my mom, my, and everybody starts, well, but, but listen, the testimony isn't what you've been through. It's who you became through it. it it's who you became through it. It's not impressive to tell us everything you've been through if you're unchanged. You, you, you were supposed to change. And if you and if you, you, you st you're still walking around with 10 year old wounds, that's not because the wounds didn't hurt. It's just because you haven't been with the healer. You're supposed to look more healed now. You're supposed to be more caring now. You're supposed to be more loving now. And so so this is what God does. And his endurance was the catalyst for his elevation. God could trust him with power. Now, I say this to us all. Some of you are going to email me or some of you are going to ask me, Pastor, I got a situation and I don't know, should I have left? Or I cannot answer that for you. But I can tell you that the fight should be to lean more towards enduring than leaving. Just to, to press into God's voice. Not because it's good endurance in and of itself, it's just I wanna get everything God intended for me in this hard situation. I wanna become everything God meant for me to be. Because the goal is not just to be in it, it's to go through it. I uh, went to James Madison University. I graduated in 1999. Many of us have been to different schools, amen? I'm not gonna ask you if you went to school, if you didn't go to school. How many of y'all know there's a difference between attending and graduating, amen? Hmm? amen? Anybody know that? Yeah, I was at Howard in 2002. It was crazy out there. Yeah, man, I remember Howard, word. Yeah, I saw Puff out there, all that. It was amazing, okay. You attended. Did you graduate? Because if you've graduated something, you know that you walked across the stage and it celebrated and you held that thing up and you threw that tassel up in the air and you said, I got everything I was supposed to get. And that, and that, 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 that diploma is your receipt to say everything I paid for, everything I sacrificed, I got it all. That's much different than saying you attended. And, and, and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get you to celebrate endurance, like a graduation, saying, I went through it. I just, I wasn't just in it. I'm changed now. 